four, day three. Chris, what's the uh, update after two days of competition? So uh, in first place is uh, Mr. Corey Bow at 29 points. Uh, his uh, roommate and sleeping buddy, Mike Bowen's in second at 27. Ian, Ian Baggett is the first Baggett and then at 25 with Ted at 24. Uh, followed by a tie between myself and Daniel at 20 points. Uh, Mark is the last Baggett at 18. And Ben Cox is playing somewhere. Uh, he played cards in the first and got a point. No, he didn't get a point for that. Oh, did, what did he get a point for? He finished la tied for second last. <laughs> cool. So that's the only point he has. Correct. So he's only 17 points back. Great. Thanks, Chris. You're welcome. All right, Corey, what's, what's the plan? Leader in the house. Two rounds to go. Pretty comfy, but, you know. Feeling really good. A little bit under the weather after drinking too much last night. Yeah. So uh, you guys can have some hope. I'm, I'm going to zoom out on this shirt. Is, is this a to hide in the woods and find extra golf ball yeah, shirt? Is this yeah. a camouflage? This is in case of uh, everybody can see me coming. Yeah, well, who's your buddy? This is the what? <laughs> Comfortable? P2? Yeah. What, what's the plan? How are you going to get him? That's where I want to be. That's my plan all along, P2. Two days left? I got nothing to lose, everything to gain. Yeah. You don't think you can drop out of the top no, four today? Not no, even. Not happening. Not worried. I've seen my competition. That's not gonna happen. So Ben, you uh, you teed off really well on one and two. <laughs> what happened on three there? I uh, I switched to an iron, which is uh, a bit of a weak spot in my game. Uh, oh yeah, do you have many of those in your bag? <laughs> yeah. I uh, I was thinking I might just keep them in the bag. Oh, that's, uh, a, that's a good place for them. Straight driver to putter. We'll see how that goes. Excellent. <laughs> Leaderboard after nine holes. Corey is just scorching it. He's only five. He's at minus five. Next up, we got a tie. We got Ian and Dan at minus nine. Close behind them is Ted at minus ten. And Mark, believe it or not, has minus eleven, despite playing like a clown with no shoes. After Mark, we got Chris at minus thirteen, Ben minus fifteen, and Mike bringing up the rear at minus seventeen fucking points.
Oh, it's such a nice right. situation, man. What's the sitch? Okay, so I hit a really terrible shot. Yeah. Through the bunker, Understood. Out of the bunker onto the car path. Right. I'm trying to determine the point that it entered the bunker and came out so I can find a closer point of relief. Mm. Okay, so the ball is right here. Yeah. That's it? Now look at the green. <laughs> I would say, here I can get around, right? I would say bring it back to here. Then I can still get a line through, right? Sure. Alright. Cool. Good Thank job. Thank you, PGA Tour officials. Yeah. You're welcome. Come on. Good result. That might have been the knife. That might have been the knife in the back. So what just happened? Uh, I think Ian just fucked me over. You know what? We had a good day yesterday as partners. But now I see our friendship is for naught. Threw you under the bus. One fucking putt. Kind of threw you under the bus. Yes, baby. You did. Post, post you, did. you know what? I, uh, I, I got to look in the mirror and really think things out. And maybe tap fucking Ian on the sack on the way by here because that was bullshit, Ian. Oh, sorry. No, seven. Seven. There's no way I got to fix. Seven, six, six. Seven, six, six. You know what? She's well. I'm very proud of you. So, quote, uh, quote around, boys, this is a very difficult uh, tournament set up here at Story Creek uh, with maximum difficulty at Amperage. I don't know, crazy. Hey, uh, Corey comes in first again. Ooh. 24 points Ooh. at uh, plus four. Minus six, three points in Ben. He was in the mix today. Okay, yeah. He's in the mix. Benjamin. <laughs> Benjamin. <laughs> However, he's, I feel Showed like up on time. you know what? I'm gonna give him a point. Can we give eighth place a point instead of zero? No. Okay, so zero <laughs> points again. <laughs> ben. Yeah. Ben. Yeah. Ben. Yeah. All right. Uh, so what does that mean? That is the question. We're gonna pause because now I gotta do some math. Final pairings for tomorrow. The bottom four playing four. The last place will have the honor wearing the master's caddy outfit at Mayhem, May 2022. Bottom four is in eighth place, Benjamin Cox. Ow! Benjamin Cox will have no handicap for tomorrow morning. In seventh place, Mark Baggy will get a one bump to his handicap, giving him one stroke over Benjamin the entire round. In sixth place, Chris Baggy. Points. He gets a plus two bump to his handicap, to be a 16 handicap. And in fifth place, the third Baggett, Ian Baggett, gets three handicaps to take him to 28 oh. handicap tomorrow. Excellent. The top four. Oh, yeah, I should be. The top four. Fourth place, squeaking in by a margin of two points over Ian Baggett. Mike Bowman. Yes. Yeah, Mike. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Mike will play on his handicap. In second place, Daniel, or third place is Daniel Fortune. Coming in with a 13 handicap, he will get a bump of one handicap to a 14. In second place, Ted Baggett quietly. Oh, yeah, quietly. oh wait, that's me. Uh, Never quietly. Gets a two. <laughs> worst club to hold for. Roommates, um, <laughs> friends, lifelong compatriots. The day, I mean, you got the same hat. The day we got lockers together in high school, this shit has been going on. It's the day he Like, well, this has got to be 35 years of this horse shit. Dude. And now I got a full day tomorrow with him. He's riding high. He's been, he's getting high in his own supply. And I got to bring him down. We got to get him fucking pissed drunk tonight. Like, I'm in get your head. Up. I was drunk last night and it worked. <sighs> <laughs> baby so keep me sober Fuck. i'm trying to get to a question i just, just Ted, open my, it's open Ted, mic night please. go ahead well like mike there was a lot of talk in the parking lot there was there's no way he can keep this up but, but there is no way <laughs> the 
the laws of averages say that he is gonna fucking just dump it. Okay, well, let's let's talk about your game today. I think I think you got off to a rough start. Yeah. There was uh there was some eoring. There was some. Well, moving. here's the thing between yanking it and slicing it, there is a straight ball path. I did not find that. Okay, that's but that's I put I put some good ones okay. today. I, I, I recovered on the putt. Yep, that's fine. Thank you, Mike. You can you can you thank you, thank off you. camera. Thanks. Um, Corey, so like, I mean, you're beaming. Like, I, there was two kids mind. that watched you walk down the 18th fairway, and Come on, man. they wanted a ball sign. They were just like, "This is great!" Like, who is this guy? Is this guy a pro? Yeah. But there are rumors that you may have thrown the last few holes, knowing that it was kind of sealed, and just to make sure you didn't take that handicap hit in the morning. Well, I made the mistake of thinking about the score, which is always a mistake, because I was just focused on my game the whole time, and then I was just thinking, okay, I really want to have a good score today, and that was the problem. So tomorrow, if I can keep out the score, just think of my game, it's going to be uh, lights out. Well, we'll make the sure other thing was uh, playing the part of the PGA Tour. I wore the pants, and that uh, that really gave me the confidence and the, yeah. the feeling. I uh, highly recommend it. I'm wearing pants tomorrow no matter what. Well, thank you, Corey, for your timing, and good luck tomorrow. Thank you. So, uh, Mark, let's start with you. I, you came in. You were kind of an underdog coming into today's round. I, I felt like you had a game going. You want to you wanna walk us through what happened out there today? Well, I was, I was definitely the best golfer on the course. Um, I would say there was a lot of bad decisions uh, by my teammates that threw me off. Uh, I had a bee fly into my crotch, made it very difficult. Uh, I couldn't concentrate. Um, I tried to play through it, but the bee is stuck and the putt did not. Is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. I got, I got definitely, there's a, there's a well, roach up my ass right now. Too. Well, Mark, good luck tomorrow. I mean, we don't want you wearing a costume at every event next year at Mayhem. So, you know, best of luck. I think a bee outfit would be appropriate next year. Yeah. A bee outfit. Yeah, okay. the stinger out front. Chris, I mean, can you hide your disappointment? Like, I know you had higher hopes. Like, did, I mean... Wow. The course cheated. To quote my brother, the course cheated. I deserved a couple more shots, and it cheated. The game cheated against me. Okay, well, um, thank you for your honesty and openness and, and a little bit of bitterness. Golf sucks. So, Ben, I mean, disappointment, I'm sure. Um, but, you know, it's not over. So, how, how do you... I mean, we talked about breaking it down and building it back up, and I think you just decided to sleep in. So, what's your I plan tomorrow? I think you're right. I think there was a little bit more breaking down and less building up this morning than we really thought. But I, there's a lot of talk about the pressure on the leader. But but heavy is the head that wears the last place helmet, I think. They don't talk about that enough. Um, so there's a lot of pressure out there today to perform. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I just didn't have it today, which was like yesterday and also the day before. But <laughs> but there's nothing saying that we can't turn that around tomorrow. So. Uh, <laughs> see see I, it fits it fits there's, though there's been there's been some i don't know if you noticed there's been some records on social media there's been references to bob the builder i just want to know your reaction do you, do you find that a compliment or do you, do you think it, that people are trying to no, like... i like it i can use that energy i can build it up at least they're talking about me on social media in the middle of the pack they're not talking about you at all right so i, I try and feed off that it gives me a bit of energy to to, uh, good yeah, I need a bit more of that maybe tonight. So well, well, it has to the you're the patriarch of the entire mayhem organization. Uh, uh, no, no, I'm, I'm just the oldest. I have nothing to do with the organization, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, I appreciate the, the, the skepticism. Um, you are a two, two-time Green Jackets. Yeah, I'm sure that was a mistake as well. <laughs> no, I think it's fine. But, I mean, are you proud of your two sons for being in the bottom group, or were you expecting more from Mark no. and Chris this weekend? No, no, I, I have few expectations for myself, you know. They, what about, these guys do fine, you know. They're all having, they're here for having fun, right? That's, that's, the, that's the greatest part about this. You know, I, I appreciate the bland return answers, but like, honestly, <laughs> is Mark and Chris a disappointment for not making the top four? We're not a-holes like Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody supplying answers here. <laughs> Have you got all this set up? Daniel, uh, overall, I think you should be, you, you must be thrilled with today's performance. It was pretty good. Uh, I seemed to work some things out this morning. Um, had some moments of rage yeah. pretty intensely. Yeah. Uh, but uh, 
on the whole, it's a good day. Yeah. yeah. Play yeah. It out. Good. And so, like, going into tomorrow's match, like, there's been a lot of focus on the Mike Corey. It's kind of a, a Bryson, like, Kepka kind of yeah. thing. Like, do you feel like there's pressure? Do you feel like you're kind of, what were you thinking? I'm, I'm right in the pocket. I'm there. I'm in that, that, that small groove between yeah. feeling the pressure and not caring. Yeah. And I feel like if I can just channel that focus into a moment of, for lack of a better word, then I should be good. You got a minute for a quick, quick feeling question this morning? Uh, yeah, sure. What's up? Um, what's, what's, what's your mindset going in? You got a plan for what's going on out to there today? Uh, I gotta pick out those misses from yesterday. You know, we're definitely off the tee. Sounds like a pretty quirky course. Yeah. Uh, I think I just, uh, I'm playing in the bottom tier, so I think I just gotta try and hit fairways and greens and hope that the other guys falter. Play today. You gotta feel freed up this morning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Nothing to lose. Nothing to lose. Everything really gotta raise. Yeah. Nowhere to go but up. point here in the final series of matches the top four group uh, we've kind of split into two competitions we've got a serious match play situation we've got Daniel and, and Corey tied at minus four through nine holes uh, and then bringing up the rear ish is uh, Mike and Ted at plus three and plus four so it's definitely uh, shifted into a dynamic a single thing now in the in the low group uh, there are still cameras with them, so you'll probably get some highlights, even if it's kind of not a focus. Chris seems to be running away in fifth place at minus four. Mark at plus two. Ben and Ian battling out for the master's uniform, the honor of wearing the caddies, sitting currently at plus ten through ten holes. Bye.
we got our final standings. The group that led off this morning, other, otherwise known as the bottom four, uh, came back with uh, Mark Baggett, great golfer, good friend of mine. Uh, finished a lot of pars. You got minus two. His younger brother Chris played kind of crappy at the end. Got a minus one. Still, still okay. And bringing up the rear were Ian Baggett at plus ten and Ben Cox. Got one point this week in that Ben. That Ben got plus seventeen today. So finishing up the top group who followed us all in in their red shirts except for uh, the winner, Daniel Fortan, comes in with a minus five. Corey Bow had a great weekend. Couldn't just couldn't cut just couldn't cut the cheese today. Couldn't, couldn't seal the deal. He uh, had a minus three. Mike Bowman plus six and Ted Baggett in the uh, the rump of the roast at plus nine finishing the bottom of the top. Row. So uh, Ben, any further comments? Further? Uh, there's no press availability at this time. No comments. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck.